Welcome back. Time for a reindeer hunt. They were off to the northeast somewhere. I've given them their head start. Um, I just finished eating, as you can see. And let's Let's try our new technique and see if how that works. Okay, there's one. Probably not my first choice. Oops. Yeah, we've, we've already labeled the square so we know where to get our stuff. Um, And as usual, we'll just say, well, it's right there in the open. Surely we'll find it. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Haven't dropped speed yet. So as a reminder, the, the new hunting technique, when my speed drops to 15, I rest. And it will... Okay. Oops, two small stags. Okay, so we rest. There's a doe, small doe, small stag, and another doe. I think it'll be just whoever lets us get closest before they, not counting the calf, we're not, we're not here to hunt the calf. My first kill on this character was a reindeer calf and it sort of that's, that's a good starting kill. I didn't record that, I don't think, but, or if I did, it was in the wrong resolution, so it only captured half the screen, so I haven't posted it. If I did record it, I was just getting used to recording. Well, I'm still getting used to recording, but recorded almost 100 videos now, you'd think I'd be better at it. Yeah, this guy isn't taking me very seriously. I have a theory, if you don't have anything wielded that they'll let you come closer than if you do, which might be kind of an exploit, so let's, um, yeah, see? All of a sudden, takes off, even though I didn't go any closer to him. And then last Nierpez I killed uh, didn't charge me until I was out of arrows. So, you know, that's just an interesting observation, I think. Is this guy the closest? It's hard to tell. He looks closer, but like laterally and vertically, I don't think it's the same distance. But I won't get too autistic. I'm going to chase this guy because he's isolated. And he's going to want to have a tendency to go back to the herd. So we'll try that. See? He turned back towards the herd. And I'm going to sort of cut him off, drive a wedge between him and the herd. What's this one? Is this a small stag? Yeah. I 
don't know where the one I was chasing went. It disappeared into that black. It could be, it could have gone into a neighboring black and I didn't, oh, there he is, okay. So this one off to the east is the one I'm, I'm hunting. Coming back. Okay. I've got to get him running again, so I'm going to. All right. He looks a little slower to me. Again, the smart thing to do if you're new, or even if you're not new and just want to be efficient, is to look at him. But for the purposes of creating content, He's really slowed down though, I think. Um, I'm not gonna look at him just yet. Okay, so he's gone off to the northeast. Um, let's see, there's three rocks up there and he, well, no, that's not, just, I know where he is. <laughs> you always say that and then you get there and you're like, wait a second, where was he exactly? But again, I want to cheat to where I'm acting as a wedge between him and the rest of the herd that he wants to get back to. Oh, look at him, he's way down there. I'm gonna look at him because I wanna, well, it's gotta be him, it's just gotta be him. But I am gonna run at him and violate the, uh, the resting just to get him running again. And I'll rest when he, okay, he started running again, so I'll rest three turns. Yeah, I like this slightly more sophisticated method, but I think if I were optimizing it right now, I would just run at him. And I'm actually giving him a tiny chance to get away by not just running at him. But we'll just keep doing it in case, just for the, uh, for science.
think that's him there, like a track of his. I thought he had proved me right. But these look very fresh. Oops. There he is, so I'm going to run at him and get him running again. It would definitely be smarter for me to just run at him now, but science. So he's there to the southeast. Coming back, and then I'm sh pretty sure he's very fatigued at this point, if not breathless. Yeah, he's breathless now. Can we cut through there? I think we can. Pretty sure a hand axe is a one-handed weapon. I mean, logically it would be, but I'm gonna unwield the javelin just in case the 0.1% chance that I'm wrong about that. Okay, so the technique worked, but I don't think it's optimal. But you have to use your best judgment or to look at them. And if they're, if they're more fatigued than you are, it's probably the best thing to do at that point is just run at them. Like if they're fatigued and you're in great shape, you've got them. And the only way you're going to lose them is if they, they uh, manage to... To, to fake you out at that point. So just run at them and that will minimize the chance they're able to do that. Um, walk. And we'll use the blunt aspect. And that was a pretty pretty efficient hunt. Didn't run into any trees. I think that might be a first. I wonder if we're ever going to level axe. Someday we might, but we didn't just then. Oh well. Okie doke. Yeah, we didn't damage the carcass at all with the axe. And, uh...
and there's other uh, an, the same commenter that made the comment about the deer uh, the default number of cuts being 10 said uh, derp you don't need to have your knife in your inventory well that's true but um, I I don't think like that to me feels exploity. You should have your tools in your inventory when you use them. Uh, you need to have your rope in your inventory. When you're tanning a hide, you even need to have the hide in your inventory. So just having your tools in your inventory, it's something I, if, if I'm not doing it, it's because I, I made a mistake. Um, so yeah, but if you want to min max to the max, leave your tools nearby on the ground and then you won't get the weight penalty. Superior? Oh, come on. Maybe if I had left my knife on the ground I would have gotten at least fine, decent. That's when I wonder, did all those hits with the axe, is there some hidden mechanic there that um, the skin was more damaged than the game's letting on? But no way of knowing. Okay, uh, drop the skin. Rest, butcher. And we'll see if we can dry those or if we need to wait another month. I suspect the latter, but I hope the former. Drop uh, 84. I haven't heard any ravens around, so I will not be super paranoid about that. I'm eating the, the tried cuts or one of them. Um, and the cut, not the fat. And I'm comfortable. And now I need to go get my gear. And then head back to the settlement. like it's to the west. And this time I didn't have to search very hard for it. Um, have a little, little snack. and head home. Will we make it home? Hmm, tough call. We'll see. no harm in checking. <laughs> I think we picked up those furs. But hey, if you want to give me some furs, I'll take them. Okay, I'm sure I picked them up. Is that fresh? Kind of looks fresh, doesn't it? But it's not. Okay, I'm going to delete that one. Hopefully I did remember to pick up whatever furs were there. 
that's what we got. Uh, let's traders near here can go away. Uh, I think that's really old. enough uh, bookmark management we're weary so why don't we go to sleep here for home. Oh, sorry. Wield javelins, wield spear in case whatever happens. Eat. No, we're all out of food. We're all out of edible food. Was that a trader that just flashed by? I think so, but I'd rather just get home right now. about sacrificing silver to the old man of the forest. I used to kill squirrels mostly to try to level spear. And now my spear is maxed. And... Um, On the other hand, there is that fox, so... And I don't give squirrels head starts. <laughs> because it's just a squirrel. And it's just kind of like, yeah, as you travel all these kilometers you're gonna come across a squirrel every now and then so no sorry drop everything except these two please thank you and wield that one okay Throw that one. And we're going to kick him in the head, in the skull. And there you go. So we didn't level uh, unarmed, but we used unarmed, I think. And pick him up. And it's not even harmed, really? That's unusual. Where did I hit him with the with the javelin? In the paw. Huh. 
that's that's unusual that you get an unharmed squirrel carcass. So drop everything, pick up your knife, unless you want to be a min-max um, unless you want to min-max to the max, in which case don't pick up your knife and skin the animal. Didn't get superior. Butcher. Okay. And I'd kind of like to... I think we're near that fox, so let's see. Yeah, the fox is there. We're also near to home. Grr. Um... Now I'm gonna go go try to trap that fox first before this um, squirrel cut spoils. That's where we saw the fox. Where did we see him? Fox don't leave tracks reliably. But I thought he was like right up here. They have such a wide range and he might not come back. But it feels kind of smart to leave it at the corner of four different biomes. Because maybe he can see it from a neighboring biome. I don't know. Anyway, we drop everything but... Oh, jeez. Everything but that. Apply trap and inventory. Pick up the squirrel cut. No, don't really walk into trap. What did I do? Pick up the squirrel cut. And throw it in the trap. And let's get home before this reindeer meat spoils. Perfect diagonal. Nothing in that trap. Nothing in my pit traps or trap pits and nothing in that. Okay. There was more elk. Oops. Oh well, it was less than a day, so that's fine. Or was that all the elk? Had I not done that yet? No, I hadn't done that yet. That's all the elk. Okay. So no meat being smoked at the moment. Um, feels like a good stopping point. Thanks for watching. See you next time.